What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. And if you can tell by all the bodies laying around me, I got the zombies working. Um, <laughs> it was not in fact, uh, these are not in fact my bodies, I did not die that many times. Um, no, so apparently what's been going on with that, um, I was actually looking through some of the other mods like Cyberhounds um, from Darth Biomech and stuff like that. But when I started digging into the comments, I was getting a lot of, I was seeing a lot of comments of like uh, people complaining that things weren't working or um, that something in the new updates have kind of turned them off or whatever. So I was a little concerned about adding a, another mod in that, that would just make things some more messed up and wouldn't actually help anything. Um, I like the Cyberhound idea the best, honestly. I think it fits the narrative and stuff the best. Oh, yeah, by the way, I have a, uh... I was ambushed by zombies earlier when I started playing, and they messed up one of my lights here, so that was rather rude. Um, but, yeah, so when I was looking through, um, stuff like that, I was looking at the mod for the zombies and I saw a comment that said that um, they weren't spawning and I was like okay yeah that's my problem what how do I fix that and then I believe it was the mod maker that commented back that said there was a, a known bug that he hadn't had time to fix or something like that but basically whenever you exit the game like this the world file whenever you leave this world it turns off the wolf spawning which is what it needs, obviously, because they're basically just reskins um, with new animations and things. So uh, when I checked my file, sure enough, it had the wolves disabled. I turned it back on, and obviously now they're spawning again. What is this over here? 38 construction components that I somehow missed. So yeah, there's that. Couple other things I wanted to address. Um, I might go... I just realized... Is this connected? Yes, it is. Okay. Whew. I was just seeing this assembler node here, and it wasn't lined up to anything. It concerned me for a minute. Um, one of the other things was, while most everybody was okay with the idea of using um, mods for hydrogen and stuff, apparently, um, in my last video the hydrogen farm that I had attached to the hydrogen tank incited a little debate over whether it was kind of cheaty or blah 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 blah. Um, mainly because it didn't really fit a realism narrative of it didn't make any sense, which I completely agreed with. I never made any qualms about that. Like, no, it didn't make any sense. There's no way that you just make hydrogen from the sun. That doesn't that doesn't, unless you found, unless, the only way you could write it off is some fictional plant that when it gets hit with sunlight gives off hydrogen instead of oxygen or something, I don't know, but um, in the comments and stuff it was actually kind of interesting because it even went into how, technically speaking, the oxygen farm works because it is based on photosynthesis, like you have plants that are giving off uh, oxygen, but... It also mentioned that, you know, ac actually to do photosynthesis, you would need soil and water and, or at least carbon dioxide and water and stuff like that for the actual process to, to actually work. If you just stuck a plant in sunlight, it doesn't actually give off oxygen kind of thing. So, you know, um, I would like to point out, this is just a random tidbit that has nothing to do with anything, but I would just like to point out, I think it's kind of hilarious, um... <laughs> that they did the same thing with oxygen farms. Like, eventually when they updated the oxygen farm model, they added plants. Like, you can see there's plants in the tanks there. Um, and it was completely unintentional. Like, it wasn't like I had talked to the devs or anything and knew they were going to do that. But when we filmed Yeda Squad, the episode four, I think it was, about cooking trees, was the same premise, that they had trees on their base that the photosynthesis process refilled their air supply but it was something we made up for the show. It really wasn't anything that, you know, like I said, I didn't know they were going to add that into the game. And I not, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm kind I'm pretty sure that they actually did add that after we did that episode. I don't know. They I think so, because it was before the big but 
Well, they had the, they added those blocks before the graphical. Anyway, I don't know. It was just a funny coincidence to me. Um, so I removed that and I added this guy, which apparently had been recommended to me on multiple occasions, but I don't recall ever seeing the comments, so that's my bad. Um, either that or I looked and couldn't find it or forgot to do it. I don't know, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is a moisture evaporator. Um, and it was completely unrelated to the Star Wars celebration. Wow, can I not ping pong off of everything? That would be cool. Yeah, it wasn't because Star Wars Celebration I put it. Oh, you know what? That was a, well, no, moisture evaporator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Same idea as they had on Tatooine. Um, but what this does basically, rather than the hydrogen of just make hydrogen from nothing, um, if you hadn't already figured it out, which most of you that watch my stuff are probably the ones that suggested the bond in the first place, so I'm probably not really giving you anything you don't know. But the moisture evaporator accumulates um, ice from the moisture in the air. It basically pulls the moisture in, freezes it, turns it to ice. You can then throw that in an oxygen generator to make hydrogen. So that's a, that's a more science-friendly mod, I guess, if you want to, for making hydrogen, if you want to put it that way. Um, now this does bring a new situation though. I need to make an oxygen generator because I don't have one of those and that's going to be a problem. I do have this mod still installed because I, I wanted to get the parts back before I took it out. So that's why that's there. Um, oxygen. I don't think it goes by O2. So let's just go oxygen. Let's see what we get. Generator. There we are. So what do I need? Computer, large steel, wait, that's small. Computer, motor, large steel component, same thing, basically, okay? Um, and the other cool thing that I was informed about recently, um, I kind of forgot what I needed, but I'll just grab the basics. Now we need to find a spot, though. Uh, I hadn't really planned that. Um, this isn't connected to the system yet, unfortunately. So, tell you what, let's actually lay down. Does it have a port on the front and back? It does, okay. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna, which way's forward? That way's forward, I think. So we're gonna lay it like this, and we're gonna take out these two connection points. Ooh. Except I might not have any room. Let's put like 40 of these back. That should give us a bit more room. Those things take up so much space in your inventory. Okay. Um, here we go. Boom. Perfect. All right. So basically, now the next step is I've got to somehow run a cable from this system here over to um, our new catwalk area with the, with the hydrogen tanks. And that's going to be a bit of an issue because, quite frankly, I did not plan that far ahead for that. Um, when I was laying out this stuff. My thought process is, I'm almost wondering if I could do subterranean, maybe? Like, um, what I'm thinking is having all of these meet at a certain point, like have uh, conveyor tubes go connect to these two guys, and then have all of the oxygen ones connecting and meet here, and then they run one here and run one here to a central conveyor and then run the conveyor down in a in a encased steel tube type of thing down into the ground maybe kind of what i'm thinking at the moment uh it does require digging though which is gonna just blah it's gonna suck um yeah but i might do something a bit more temporary for now i'm not really sure like maybe run it down and then over to like the top there and punch a hole in the top i don't really know that that would not be the permanent solution but 
At the moment, I'm running low on my hydrogen supply, so my jetpack's not going to be very functional. But now we have an ice system going, but now I need to connect this up to the storage. Now, Occam's Razor, the easiest would be to just put a hydrogen tank up there, which I probably could do. What does this require? Um, yeah, okay, so for the moment we're going to do that, I think. Alrighty, so I got my temporary oxygen tank go, or hydrogen tank, oxygen tank. I got my temporary hydrogen tank going at the moment, and it's hooked up through a conveyor. Um, it's kind of trickling in. It, it went through the 7% or, or 7%, I can't talk today, the 7,000 um, ice that I had uh, relatively quickly, actually, and then it, it kind of has kind of leveled off into a more constant so it's kind of just ticking away because what's happening I didn't even realize it I accidentally left everything set up to be on the conveyor system and didn't realize the oxygen farm or oxygen generator was on by default so as this is making ice it's going right into the generator which is making stuff which is going into here so which is fine I don't really need the ice for oxygen because if I want oxygen I'm just gonna throw a vent on um, the tanks up there so that'll be fine and I don't really need it I'm not anywhere near going to like outer space at this point I'm still working on getting my supply line and stuff set up though now that the zombies are back they're they're, they're doing pretty good at supplying me with materials it's kind of kind of awesome um, I am gonna have to like mine at some point though and for those of you that were talking about um, you know my laziness I won't lie I am lazy um, if I if I can if I can do something the easy way, why do it the hard way? Um, unless there's some benefit to it. So, like with the hydrogen thing, yes, I could go mine all the snow, but part of it is I didn't want to mess up the terrain. It looks cool, you know, it's part of the base. So I didn't want to mine here, but then where do you go? You go off there, whatever. I just didn't want to do it. So for me, I don't mind mining for materials like iron and blah, 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 blah. But for basic survival stuff, I just don't like the idea of having to constantly go out and grind because, oh, my air supply is low. You know, something like that. It, it's, I don't know, some some air on the side of realism. And I understand that, that, you know, it's, it's like if you're trying to go for a more non-fantastical and more realistic take on it then you would need to do that. That's something real astronauts would have to worry about is oxygen supply and where do you get the oxygen from and blah, blah, blah. But as a video game, as a entertainment thing for fun, you know, there's just some things that it, it, it gets more, I don't know. I guess for me, it just, it's, it's a little bit like, um, it adds a grind, I guess, to it. Like, if I'm if I'm looking for iron to build my ship, that's my project. I don't have to make it as big or small as I do. I just do. So if, if I have to go out and grind a lot to get that much material, that's, that's my own fault. But to just, you know, you need this or you die kind of thing. It's like Minecraft. Let's take Minecraft for an example. When you first start off, you need a food supply. That's fine. But once you have a farm going, do you ever worry about food? No. Not really, because you end up, it's very easy to get food, and you get it all set up. Some people would say the same thing about um, ice and oxygen and hydrogen, but to me, I'm always having to go out and mine it. I can't have a renewable, like a farm that just keeps making it, so I just don't like that. So that's why I added the moisture farmer thing, because I feel like that... It's not like it's going to power my ship or anything, but it just keeps me supplied to where I don't have to worry about my jetpack, and it'll make building and all that go faster, which in turn makes my builds better, which in turn, hopefully you guys enjoy it, enjoy it more. So, I'm all for making it lore-friendly, though. Like, the moisture farmer thing versus the hydrogen farm, great idea. I like that a lot better. I think I just missed the comments or forgot about it or something. All right, so on that note, at some point, we're going to have to... We're going to have to find some kind of uh, mining supply. Though, I didn't realize... Uh, somebody mentioned in the comments, I guess you're supposed to be able to do that with a hand drill. Like, they should... Close by ore deposits should come up. Apparently, I have nothing within uh, reasonable close distance, I guess. I don't know how close you have to be. Um, but the other thing that somebody had told me about, which I did not know... 
was to go ahead and collect the, um, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. those things, to go ahead and collect the tools off of my corpses, because apparently what you can do is you can feed them back into the assembler and disassemble them, and in doing so, get some of their materials to upgrade and make better stuff. And I did not know you could do that. I knew you could make higher tier weapons and things now. Um, but I didn't know that. And I, I did... I have seen a couple people talking about, like, you know... And I mentioned this before in one of my other videos. Like, how long I've played the game versus still behaving like a noob sometimes. Um, and the biggest reason for that is I have not played survival in a very long time. Um, iron, silver, and nickel. Do I have any of that? I want to make sure that I could replace if I needed. I have iron. I don't have silver and I don't have nickel. Eh, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Somebody told me I would need the oxygen bottles if I wanted to upgrade my, um, my stuff. So what do we got here? And it's probably because you're getting the nickel and silver and stuff out of those bottles. Yeah, that's probably why. And I think that, yep, I think the comment I got told me you could go up to a tier 3 and then you'd need platinum. So, alright, so what we need to do is we have all of our main stuff here, so I want to make sure... I guess I don't really need to keep a copy of it. I was thinking I need at least one, but I guess I don't. Um, now, I gotta remember how to do this disassembly... And let's go for drills first. Enable or disable repeat mode. Alright, now I think it's off actually. Yep. Production, okay. Okay, so it did that pretty quick. I'll switch to assembly. Oh, do I have everything other than co cobalt and silver. I don't know where I'm going to get cobalt from. Let's dismantle both of those, because that neither of those are... 198! Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so for the drill it doesn't need that. Oh, okay. Very cool. So it's these, and I'll get those from disassembling that. Ah! Would you look at that? That's pretty cool. Um, I was gonna say... Why is... That's weird. It's doing like 96 and stuff. Is it ha Oh, I hit shift. That's why. Okay, never mind. That makes more sense. Alright, so... Rapid fire. Precise. I'd need to work cobalt for that, but I have another gun I could dismantle, I guess. So let's do... That. Um, let's make a more proficient welder and grinder. And then let's see. I'll put that in there. Is that gonna give me. Oh crap. Um, oh, I can just check this tab. Uh, basic does not have cobalt. Okay, so I'm out of cobalt. Oh wait, no, I could use a grinder. Can I? Yeah, I could use a grinder. Nope, stop it. Yeah, because they have cobalt. And does anything else? Does the welder? The welder has cobalt. Okay. So I won't need those if I'm making these upgraded versions. So... Let's do that and that. Still don't have enough. Ah! It's right there, too. And the hand drill doesn't have it. Ah, crap. Alright, well, at least I upgraded the important stuff, like my tools. Though I can break this one down now, I guess. But that doesn't give me cobalt. And I could make the rapid fire, but frankly, I don't really need it. Um, I'd rather have a more precise aiming or something than rapid fire, because the zombies and stuff, they don't really take that many rounds to, to deal with. Um, so welder, drill, and grinder. Speaking of, 
Speaking of the zombies, I hear you. I hear a. Um, hear them. Were you were you messing with my door? I don't know. They're messing with the ramp because that makes sense. I do need to get an interior turret or something going out here somewhere. But see, they drop like power cells and crap. That's cool. I thought I'm I'm not sure, but I think power cells are fairly expensive. At least early game. Unless they change the... See, that's the thing. I have played, like, more of a let's build style for a while. I have not done... Man, I haven't done survival since they added planets. Like, before they added planets, I had not done... So if any of you are think thinking I'm doing stuff noobish, that's why. I have not done survival since long before they did planets. I was still in space the last time I did a survival one and doing my own asteroids and all that stuff. Like, you know, mining off of asteroids and things. I didn't have, um... Yeah. Like, yeah, it was before they added the ice and stuff where you had to keep your airflow and everything. It was like you just had oxygen and things, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Again, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, so we're doing pretty good on that. What does it cost me? I'm glad we got... Uh, that upgrade thing is really cool, though. I'm, I'm glad that they told me about that, because I would have just been completely ignoring... <laughs> I just had a really bad thought. I want more cobalt to upgrade my gun, right? I just had a really bad thought that I could just keep running out here and dying, picking up my guns and tools, and... <laughs> And, like, dumping them back into the assembler and getting more materials out. Now, see, that to me is cheaty. That's that's a little working the system. Um, actually, I think you can turn that off where, like, you drop your gear if you die and stuff. I think you can actually disable that if you wanted to. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, and another helpful suggestion that I got that I didn't know about that they added was I had mentioned that I had things properly oriented and then when I would go to like switch them and go do something else it would align them differently and apparently if you hit this T button while you're holding a block let's use something a little bit more so like if I have it lined up like this and then I switch it when I go back oh now it's gonna make a liar out of me okay if I turn that off ah that's what it is so if I turn it on, it keeps it, and if I turn it off, then it resets it, I think? So that's kind of interesting. And it might have to do... Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, that wasn't what it was doing. It's that when you align stuff, I think it's auto-snapping. Yeah, that's what it does. Okay, so if you hit T while you hold the button, then you, you can keep it up oriented the way that you want and it and then move it around without having to recompensate when you actually place it somewhere that's what it did okay I, f I got it mixed up my bad uh just a noob here don't, don't mind me um so what i was looking for was turrets interior turrets probably should be the first one i start with i don't think i really want to mess with um the, the larger ones though what are we looking at 10, 8, 1... Uh, it's different components, too. But yeah, it is less. Whoa! I'm waving. Wrong button. What is... Oh, it's all these guys! See, I don't really need a rapid fire. This is fine. Hey, they brought me iron, or steel plates, and... Power cells. I do wish there was a uh, Skyrim-style drag the bodies, though, just to get them out of the way. So that it, I mean, they're in the door, which is inconvenient, but if I was gonna build something there, I can't, so meh. Whatever. Um, now, with these interior turrets, I think I still have to... They still have to be connected to the system, don't they? Like um, a conveyor system? I can't seem to spin it around to look at the bottom. I wanted to look at the bottom. Um, let me grab some interior plates so I can at least place it and get a look at this. 
Maybe, if it'll ever let me place it anywhere that I can see the back. Oh, screw it. Um, okay, steel plates, tubes, construction components, computers, and motors. Steel plates, small tubes, rotors, construction components. I don't know if I need that many, actually. And steel tubes. All right. All right, so I want to get it to a point where I can see what the bottom is. I'm pretty sure I have to have it connect. So, fun fact. Um, apparently, completing an interior turret crashes your game. Not really sure what that was about. As you can see, my tools are back to normal, so I had not had a chance to save it after doing all that. Um, my lights and stuff are still here. The tank's still there. All that's good. There's no corpses, so it must have been shortly before... I don't remember the last time I saved it, actually. It was probably right before that last transition type of thing, where um, I think it was after I made that oxygen tank, so that's probably where I left off, unfortunately. I mean, I know I can make the other tools and stuff, no problem. But I'm still a little... I don't really know what that was about, because I'm not... That wasn't even a modded block or anything. It was a vanilla interior turret. So... Oh, here they come. So, yeah, I'm not really all too sure about that one. Hey, I just thought of something. I wonder if these guys have brought me anything that I could actually use to get cobalt for my gun. Because I'm pretty sure the precise one you can use from further away and it stays more accurate, hence precise. I mean, rocket science, I know. But I think that's what it's mainly useful for. I don't know how to get this location thing to go away either. That's kind of bugging me. Like, that was the last place I died, I know, but the body's not even there anymore. Um, so yeah, that was a little strange. And I might want to try it one more time just to see what happens. Um, we'll go ahead and close that. Does that need to be repaired at all? No. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if there's a button to go right into production or not. So let's see, what requires cobalt? Gravity, I don't have... Ooh, metal grids have cobalt. Cool. Uh, I don't see anything else of the basics that I have. So, metal grids, probably. I could throw in there to get a little bit more cobalt after I use up all the tools and stuff. So that should be fine. I probably won't do that on camera, though, because I already did that, so you guys saw that already. Um, Alright, so what do I need? We're going to try this interior turret thing again real quick. If I can remember what all I needed. Motors, computers, construction components, steel. Oh, they brought me a little bit more steel. I hope that's not a problem. Uh, interior plates. Oh, and large tubes. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm really perplexed by this because it's not a... It's not even a modded block or anything, so I don't really know why it would... Why it would lock up, but it was right about the part that it crosses over the functional thing, so we're going to see if it does it again. Okay, yep, it's official. I found a bug. I found a bug. Um, because it's done that to me twice. Is right as it gets into the functional mark, bam, it it cancels out and ends. So yeah. Um maybe at some point we'll in the like next time we'll try major, like large turrets or something, and see if they're not messed up? I don't know. It could be something that they'll fix in between now and the next episode, too, because I usually have, like, a week in between there that I'm not working on stuff or recording yet. Um, 
I may at some point start doing that a little bit more. My personal schedule's been pretty messed up at this point, as far as there's been a lot going on, and I've had a lot of other things on, uh, non-YouTube related to work on and do. Um, so, yeah, I haven't really had a whole lot of time, barring the times that I set aside for recording, and even those have been interrupted sometimes, so. Uh, yeah. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Okay. Um, so yeah, on that note, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.